Hello everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.1.3.5 Configure Standard IP Version 4 ACLs. <laughs> this video is a part of the Cisco RNS Connecting Networks Version 6 curriculum. <clears throat> now in this particular lab we've got four quadrants or four local area networks connected to two routers we really kind of need to label them before we are able to kind of visually see where traffic is going and where it's going to be denied from because remember with our access control list we are actually denying or permitting traffic from one place to the next in this particular lab we are actually doing standard access control list which numbered are 1 through 99 that's how the router knows it's a standard access control list and then if it's named we actually put in the keyword standard <clears throat> Excuse me. So, first, I'm going to briefly look at our port labels. So, this one up here happens to be G00. And this one down here happens to be G01. <clears throat> okay, so that's G00 up there, G01 down there. And it happens to be the same thing over here as well. Okay. Now, how do we know what the network lay assignment is for this? Well, you could kind of use our address and table and figure that out. Um, however, too, we can do a show IP route. Our username is admin01, and that's in the lab there. And the password is uh, Cisco capital PA55 enable. <clears throat> the enable secret password was secret capital PA55. So if I do a show IP route, Alright, it lets me know that 192.168.1.0 is directly connected off of G00. So up here, that's this one, the yellow land. <clears throat> Alright, down here, it's 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And again, it shows that right here, 192.168.2.0 slash 24. Okay? So that's this bottom one. This is the top one here. <clears throat> Up here, we've got, if we do a show run on R2, we have to log in the exact same way. Admin01, Cisco capital PA55, enable, secret capital PA55. <clears throat> now again, it does not grade these labels if you don't want to do them. Uh, the top part off of G00 is 172.16.1.0. This is just for ease of looking at your lab and understanding what's going on. And this one's .2.0 based off of this, okay? So you can kind of see how you can build your topology based off of this, okay? <laughs> now, let's get into our access list. <clears throat> now, Access list, we're going to do a numbered here. Again, we're going to do the first one is number 10. we got to know what router to put it on. So let's look at what we're trying to do. It says we are trying to permit or create an access list to restrict access to the pink land. So this pink land here is our destination. With standard access control list, you want to put it as close to the destination as possible. That means we're going to put it on R2 because that's close to the destination. The pink land, when we're doing this traffic, is going to be the destination every time. <clears throat> also remember that with a standard ACO you can only restrict traffic based off where it's coming from or the source okay so we'll go to configuration mode and we've got some some criteria here okay and I'm gonna kinda use the question mark to help build this so I want you to kinda see how you do that um, the question mark is always you know your friend alright so we're gonna do access list 10 because that's the numbered way to do this and then deny permit a remark the first one says it wants to <clears throat> Sorry, start with the following comment ACL to pink land. So we're going to do remark that's like a comment ACL to pink land. All right, and with an underscore in between each word. <clears throat> that's not going to actually affect any traffic, that's to let us know what's going to happen. Okay, then we do access list 10. The second line says to permit PCC to reach the PC land, uh, the pink land. Sorry, so we're going to do permit here and then the next thing says the actual whole network address 
any that would be any source or just a single PC so we're going to do a single PC or a single host here because it says it wants us to permit PCC to reach the pink LAN now what is the IP address of PCC it's 192.168.2.50 so we're going to put here 192.168.2.50 <clears throat> that's only going to permit PCC sorry about that <clears throat> now let's look at the next line it says to permit only the first half of the host on the yellow LAN now what are the hosts on the LAN by default it'd be all of them is 192.168.1.0 255.255.255.0 is a subnet mask there but it only wants the first half of the host. The first half of the host would be 192.168.1.0 through 192.168.1.127 because that's 120 addresses from dot zero to dot 127. So if you look here, <clears throat> this would be the first half of the host. Okay. Okay. That's the first half only. This would be your subnet mask. So instead of the dot zero before, which would have took you through dot 255 here, we only want through dot 127. So to change that, what do you need to do for the subnet mask? You need to make that a dot 128. Now, <clears throat> with this command though, you'll see when I type this in, it does not want the end address to be 120 it doesn't want to know where you want to stop it knows that just by the, the subnet mask but it also doesn't want the subnet mask it wants the wild card so you need to do 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.127 0 okay so that permits the first half of the host on that network okay now permit all the hosts on the blue land to reach the pink land okay so all the hosts on the blue land up there you can see you minimize that it's 172.16.1.0 so access list 10 permit 172.16.1.0 and again the the wild card there is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 for a slash 24 subnet mask okay now those are our statements okay so we got is going to it literally it reads these from top to bottom so if I do a show IP access list alright you see it says standard IP access list 10 the one we just built it doesn't put the remark in there but it'll allow us to see it in show run it does 10 permit host 192.168.2.50 so that means it's going to allow PCC these at the beginning of each line are sequence numbers to let it know to go in numerical order. It's going to go down the list in numerical order. It spaces them out by 10 each time we do it in case you want to go back and add uh, lines in between it. So you'd have the opportunity to add nine lines in between each one of these if you needed to edit it or you did something or made a mistake. Also, if you needed to take out a line, you could actually take it out with the no, uh, you go into <clears throat> IP access list. 10 all right you have to do IP access list 10 there and then do like no 20 that would delete that middle line or statement okay now the next thing um, we want to do is look at how it reads it it reads it from top down if it again fits a line then it goes ahead and permits denies or whatever that statement says if not it goes down to the next one now at the bottom you do not see it but it says again there's one at the bottom here that says deny any so for a standard is deny any, for extended is deny any any. So it will deny all other traffic if it does not fit one of these criteria. You cannot take that that one out. It's at the very bottom. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to look at applying this. So again, we want to apply it as close to the destination as possible. The pink land is the destination for each one of these. So we're going to do interface G01. Think about the traffic. Is it going to be? We're blocking it from going out of G01 before it goes to the um, local area network of the pink land there. So we'll do IP access group 10 and then in or out. We're going to do out. So you're blocking the traffic from going out of G01 to the land. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's look at our next access list. It wants uh, four different statements. So we'll do access list, and we're going to be building one called 20. And it says to 
Uh, or sorry, yeah, 20. Remark, and it's going to be ACL to blue land. So this time the blue land is our destination each time. Access list 20, and we're going to permit PCA to reach the blue land. So we'll do permit. PCA's IP address is 192.168.1.100. So we'll do host 192.168.1.100. Okay. Then we're going to deny the yellow land, so the rest of it, it is in the yellow land, but pretty much what it's going to do is it's going to permit PCA, but then it's going to say if you're anybody else in that whole network, then I'm going to block you. So 1.100 and then 0 .0 0.0.0.255 is the wildcard mask for that slash 24 subnet mask. Then it says allow all other networks to reach the blue land. So basically it's going to be permit any. Okay, so it's going to permit PC uh, A, then it's going to deny anybody else that falls into that yellow land, then it's going to permit any. Now it's important to do this in the correct order because again, if you were to put permit, permit any too high, then it would have permitted everybody and stopped checking for rules because it, everything falls into that rule, right? <clears throat> so you have to really build this methodically um, depending on what your end goal is to how to filter your traffic. Now again, we want to put this as close to the destination as possible, which happens to be that blue land up there. So we're going to apply it to interface G00. So we'll do interface G00, IP access group, out. So we're, oh, sorry, I forgot the word, uh, the number, 20. So IP access group 20, out. So it's going out of G01 to the uh, blue land. We want to block it before it goes out to it. Okay. Now again, if you ever want to go in and edit one of these, if you make a mistake, you can always do IP access list standard or whichever one you're working with, like 20 here. Oh, it's not plural. <clears throat> and then do the, the sequence number. Okay, you see you got like 10, 20, or 30 here. You can do like no... 20 and it would actually delete just this one secret number sequence number is not going to delete delete the access list or no 10 or no 30 it's going to delete that entry then you could put it back in there by putting the sequence number and then permit deny or remark okay now the last one we are actually doing a named IP version ACL okay so we're going to do a named one called admin underscore VTY so we'll do <clears throat> Uh, it's IP access list this time instead of just access list because you're doing a named and you have to put standard or extended we'll put standard and then you got to give it a name so admin underscore VTY now we can just start with permit deny remark because it knows all of them are going under this one named one so it says an SSH connection from host PCC to R1 should be successful that means we need to permit so permit 192.168.2.50, I still remember that, but we want to do host. So we're only going to permit PCC to be able to log in remotely. Remember our VTY lines are remote login. Okay, so that's it. Um, and then it says, you know, everybody else it wants to deny. So that's the only entry we need there so we can exit out. Now we got to go apply it. So where do I apply it to? Do I apply it to the interface? No. When you're applying it to the VTY lines, you actually go into line VTY04, okay, or you could do 515, and we're going to apply it here. Now, we apply it slightly different here. We do access class instead of IP access group. It's access class, and then what is the name of it? Admin underscore VTY, and do you want to do in or out? Now, what is this going to be? If we're way far away from R1 here, Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just configured this on the wrong router. <laughs> we were supposed to configure this on R1. Uh, Why didn't anybody stop me out there in internet land? Sorry about that. All right, so let's log in to R1. Cisco, capital PA55, enable secret PA55. Now, <laughs> it's not going to harm anything on R2. One, we didn't apply it. So if you never apply an ACL, it's not going to work anyway. But two, um, it's looking for it to be on R1. So <coughs> let's try that again for extra practice. Uh, IP access list 
admin underscore VTY. Sorry, I forgot the word standard here. You got to put if it's standard or extended. And then we did permit 192.168.2.50 and we wanted it just for the one host. Okay, so permit host 192.168.2.50. Now, we want to actually go in here and we want to um, apply it. So line VTY04 access class admin underscore VTY in or out. Now, again, if we were PCC and we wanted to remotely log into R1, we're going to be sending the connection into R1, so we'll do in here. Okay. And that gives us 100 out of 100. Now, again, it tells you at the bottom you can test that out. If you do it from R1, it should be successful. SSH connections from everywhere else should fail. So if I go to PCC here, desktop, command prompt, the command is SSH-L your username which was admin01 and then the target so we just want to log into R1 so we could pick uh, 192.168.1.1 or let's do 2.1 because that's the network that PCC is a part of you see it asked me for my password there and it's that Cisco capital PA55 and it worked so now I'm literally on my router I can do a show run and all that stuff right Let's try that from PCD, because I did not allow anything else. I allowed the PCC, but remember that deny any at the bottom. So let's see, SSH-L, admin01, 192.168.2.1. All right, you see it says refused by remote host. So it will not allow me to do it because my access list is working. All right. So again, you can try out some of the nuances of this too. Uh, go back in the lab and try pinging from place to place to see if it allowed or denied correctly. We got 100 out of 100 here, so we know we're good to go. Um, if you have any further uh, questions, you know, contact me if you're in my class. Um, if not, make a comment on the video um, and I can try to help you out. But hopefully that explains IP version 4 standard access control list, but there will be many videos to come on IP version 4. 6 standard and extended as well as IP version 4 extended.